Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing some of my September beauty favorites, but before I dive into my monthly favorites, I wanna share some of my top recommendations for the Saks Friends and Family Sale, which is happening right now. I believe it goes through Monday, so you still have time to shop. It's a great time to take advantage of those brands that very rarely go on sale. Of course, anytime there's a big sale like this, I always recommend restock. So think about foundations, mascaras, if you have a favorite lip liner that you use every day, you know, the items that you are constantly going through because you know you'll use it up. Also the big ticket items. These are the purchases that you know you want to make, but maybe you've been holding out for a discount. Now's a great time. And then of course, with the holidays approaching, you might be thinking about gift giving. I did just kind of scroll through the gift sets just to see what they had. There are some great options, but I don't think you have to really rush into gift giving just yet. It is a bit early um, and there are so many other sales and I think the closer we get to the holidays, there might even be deeper discounts. But one of the big ticket items that I always recommend Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kurgian, the cult favorite. This is a beloved fragrance. If you know about it, you love it. Now is a great time to buy. And I know myself even, I waited to purchase until there was some sort of promotion that was happening. With the 15% off, you save really significant savings because full price, I believe this is 350. Let me pull it up actually. Excuse me, it's 325 for this size bottle. And then on sale, it's 276. So that is really great savings right there. Also, the Givenchy holiday set, the powder, that's one thing that I plan to purchase myself. It was $46, it's already on sale for $39.10. So this is something that I myself plan to purchase. It looks really pretty. Tribeca perfume, this is another one. And there are so many great affordable fragrances that are also marked down, I should add. But the reason I'm talking about the expensive ones is because you're getting significant savings and Bond is especially is a brand that isn't carried at all of the retailers, so it's very rare you're going to find it on sale. Tribeca is on sale. Greenwich Village, for whatever reason, is only available for pre-order, so you can't get the discount. Those are the only two that I personally own, Tribeca and Greenwich Village, two of the best fragrances in my entire collection. So yes, they are well worth it but save some money if you're going to purchase. All of the Tom Ford sets are a really great deal because not only are they on sale, but it's already a value set. So I purchased mine from Macy's, I believe it was last holiday season, and it was a similar situation. So I picked up the Lost Cherry set. It comes with the little Lost Cherry atomizer, which is basically free. So I think the set is originally 365, whatever they, raised the prices to. It's 368 originally marked down to 31280, which would be the price of just the fragrance itself, except you're still getting that atomizer complimentary. So I think that is an incredible deal and they have the bitter peach, rose prick. Um they have a couple different Tom Ford sets, but definitely get a discount on the Tom Ford. Down in the description box, I will list out all of my favorite fragrance recommendations. There are so many, but I just wanted to name those and call attention to them because they very rarely go on sale and it's a great deal. If you're looking for a home fragrance, the Diptyque Candles, now these also make great gifts if you're thinking that far in advance, but they're just really beautiful. It's not just home fragrance. I think it's truly a home decor piece. So even if you never light this candle and you never enjoy the fragrance, having this sit on a coffee table book or on a shelf somewhere it just elevates the entire space it, it elevates a room so my personal favorite is fig of course they i think is their number one seller they have the rose candle they're all really beautiful but this just happens to be my favorite years ago i remember hearing a rumor that jennifer lopez loves the fig candle and it's in all of her contracts that wherever she goes if she's performing there's a fig candle in her dressing room i have no idea if that's true but it might be <laughs> this is one of the best affordable sets i found it's from benefit it's their big brow love three-piece full-size eyebrow pencil and gel value set so it's a 72 dollar value but it retails for $30 and then on sale it's $25.50. $25.50, but it's a $72 value. I mean, that is huge savings. I believe I'm stocked up on my Benefit Brow Pencils. I will double check because this is a great set. I really like the Gimme Brow, um, but I love the 24 hour brow setter. This is the best clear brow gel I've ever used. And I have been using the Anastasia 
brow wax or brow free excuse me um, more regularly but I still like to swap in for the 24 hour brow setter every once in a while I love it best gel I have personally ever tried and the pencil is the best and I've been using the Kosas brow pop I'm trying to make it work for me but it's just not as precise and I really feel like I'm missing my benefit brow pencil I didn't want it to go to waste so I was kind of trying to make it work and what I've discovered is that Yes, I, I can make it work, um, but my brows never look that nice, <laughs> so I will definitely be going back to my Benefit products. Another great set is the Olaplex Holiday Set. It's the Healthy Hair Essentials 4-piece set. It's $60, but on sale it's $51. I love the Olaplex products. It comes with the shampoo, condish, uh, the number 3 treatment, and then the Bond Oil, which I've never tried the oil, um, but I did pick up a set like this from Sephora last year around the holidays, and I just had to open it a couple weeks ago so I could retrieve the number three inside. I'd finished completely my single number three, and then I actually tried the shampoo and conditioner along with it pretty recently, I think maybe last week, and I really liked it. The shampoo is amazing. And I feel like I wasn't prepared for how good it is. Like I've been missing out on just how good the shampoo is of this set. So definitely recommend. I believe they're all full-size products. So four full-size products for $51. That is not bad. And then the Olaplex number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I love this mask with the number three. I used it alone um, and it's okay, but it's just not best flying solo. It's after you go in with the number three perfecting mask go in with this number eight and it leaves your hair feeling so unbelievably silky and hydrated and very soft and manageable and it just looks so pretty. So I noticed a big difference with this mask. It's $28. It's not a terrible price. And then on sale, it's $23.80. My only complaint about this mask is that it does not last very long. The bottle's kind of small and if you have long hair, you're going to have to do, I think I was doing four to five pumps just in one use to cover my entire head so it's not that expensive but get a discount because then you're getting at least a little bit more value here's another item that i plan to purchase it's the by terry brightening cc pressed powder compact but this is the illuminating powder and i want to pick up the rose they have different shades for different skin tones my hope is that this is a light, kind of slightly baby pink powder that I can use for the under eyes to help brighten. I hope it's not like a highlighter. I don't think it is because I think this is just sort of a complexion product. It's not a cheek. It's just going to help add a little, a little light pink underneath the eyes, which I think will be very ethereal, kind of angelic snow bunny. I'm perfect for winter and the holidays. And I have something similar, but they're loose powders. I don't have anything like this in a pressed form. So I would be adding something new to my collection. I'm not being wasteful. That's my justification. It's originally $70, you know, by Terry charges quite a penny, um, but on sale it's $47.60. So it's even greater than the 15% off. I don't know if all of the other by Terry products are on sale or they're quite that discounted or maybe it was just on sale previously and now it's a deeper discount. I think that's a great deal. And then the last item I wanted to talk about is from GHD. It's the Unplugged Straightener. And I mentioned this, I think, in a favorites video a couple months ago. So it's expensive because GHD, they're professional tools, so they are pricey. $2.99 originally, but on sale, it's marked down to $2.54 and 15 cents. And I did pull it out. So I just think this is the coolest little tool it's not going to be for everybody i think it really depends on kind of your lifestyle how you style your hair but it's this little straightener and it comes with a cute little bag that you can keep it in with a charger and it plugs right into the wall with down here in the plug i have it actually in the outlet down here um, and as soon as it's charged you can throw it in the bag and then that way you can use this for touch-ups on the road for a weekend away if you're just plan planning to do touch-ups and you don't want to take all of your tools maybe you have limited space to carry on luggage or bring bags with you um, just make sure this is fully charged and then pack this with you and that's all you really need even with the discount i do think it is very expensive but i would much rather use professional tools than the cheapies because they can just damage your hair and i think if it sounds like something 
that would interest you. For example, if you have maybe like a daughter in dance competitions or something like that where you're like styling hair or you're like on the go. I don't know, there are so many different scenarios where I think this would really come in handy. If your job takes you traveling from place to place, like maybe you're a real estate agent and you're constantly driving around and you have early mornings and really late nights and you don't always have time to freshen up throughout the day, and you live in a crazy hot climate like Miami where your, your hair might get messed up or you might get rained on, you know, something like this would be great to keep with you in your purse. Or if you like to go to the gym in the morning before work, um, you could take something like this with you. Something like that. Very specific, but still, it's a genius product. I've really enjoyed having this. It was sent to me complimentary. I'm hopping over now to some of my personal monthly favorites and as far as makeup is concerned I've basically been wearing kind of the same rotation for a while now so besides the new products that I tried this month I feel like I've talked about everything you guys probably know my favorites by heart um, but I do want to start with a couple skincare items the first is this Biosense, the squalene and lactic acid resurfacing night serum I don't know why I started using this. I have just a skincare explosion in my bathroom at the moment, but I must have just picked it up and thought, you know what, I'm going to start using this and I have been blown away. I think this is the only Biosense product, and I might not even be pronouncing that wrong, Biosense. I think it's the only one that I've ever used from them and this was sent to me complimentary in a little box of skincare because they are carried at Sephora. I love it so much, but I can feel a difference I can see a difference with this serum and it's one of those where you can pump and you can actually see how much product you have left so I am about here so I'm probably a little bit more than halfway through the bottle I would say so this is only meant to be used in the evenings and it does have a pretty potent lactic acid the squalene I think is supposed to be hydrating but the lactic acid I can definitely tell oh it says uh, plant derived. I believe this is a, a clean skincare brand as well. Even the first time I used this, I was kind of like, ooh, because I could feel like a little tingle, not a burn, and not really a true tingle where I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get this off my face. But you know how you can sometimes just feel a product working? It was in a good way. I really liked it. And now that I've been using it consistently every night for the past couple of weeks, I feel like I can tell a difference with my skin. If you are like me and you have any post blemish marks or little brown spots, maybe little melasmas or freckles on your face, and you're just trying to even everything out, I highly recommend this. I will probably end up restocking this at some point. I just don't want to be without it. It's really good. And then I have a few more skincare items here from JLo Beauty. These were also sent to me complimentary and it was part of a Sephora Squad campaign I did in the month of September. But I love this cleanser. It's That Hit Single Gel Cream Cleanser. Amazing. It is so rich and lathery and it truly is kind of a creamy gel, but it removes all of the makeup. I love using this morning or evening. It's very balancing, so it doesn't strip the skin. A teeny tiny bit is all you need because it's actually pretty thin. But I was so impressed with this, I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do. And what we typically do before a campaign with a product is Sephora does a great job pairing each ambassador with products that they love. They make sure we're comfortable with all of the campaigns. They send us the products months in advance so we can test everything out, use it for you know a couple weeks before we then talk about the product. So that is what happened here. I had the opportunity to test these products for a few weeks. And so I was using them as part of my morning routine. And this is something that I am so happy I was able to try. Cannot recommend this enough. If you're looking for a really good cleanser that isn't going to strip the skin, but still lathers, like I need a little lather. I need something that's truly going to remove all of the oil, dirt, debris from my face. This is amazing. 10 out of 10. I also really like the eye cream, that fresh take. This is really nice because it's a little bit lighter. So it's kind of the perfect texture. I have another eye cream that I use in the evenings that's a little bit thicker and more rich. But this is perfect underneath makeup. It has peptides and a bunch of other really yummy ingredients for the skin. So I've been really happy with this eye cream. This has been part of my morning routine. I probably have 
maybe another month and a half left of this eye cream. It's really lasting a while. And there's no fragrance, which I really like. I don't mind if it's a light fragrance, but especially in skincare because it's seeping right into the skin. It is truly meant to penetrate the skin. I would prefer if there was no fragrance. So if you're like me, if you like something without fragrance, I would definitely check out the JLo Beauty line. The eye cream, the cleanser is amazing. The serum is also really good. That JLo Glow Serum. So this has a little bit of a slip to it. It's so nice. It feels very smoothing on the skin, almost like a primer, but it has a lot of great skincare ingredients as well. So this is another one of my favorite products. And then I also have the moisturizer with SPF. I really like it. I'm currently finishing another moisturizer, kind of switched off of that one for a while. So I'm going through my my Saturday Skin Carrot and Niacinamide Moisturizing Cream. I'm almost done with this. So when I finish this, I'll probably go back to the JLo. I'm scraping the bottom. I really don't have much left. Probably maybe two weeks or so, maybe a little bit more. Moving on now to makeup, the foundation that I'm wearing today is the Chanel Ultra Latent Velvet. And this is what I took with me on my recent trip. I visited Tulum, Mexico for four days last weekend. It was my best friend's bachelorette party. We had a great time. Um, but in my travel bag, this is what I took with me and it was perfect. It was light, it didn't feel heavy or cakey. It did a great job evening out the complexion uh, without feeling you're wearing a cake face you know it's a very thin formula which i like and the fact that it's velvet means it's matte it's not so matte that it's drying but in a tropical climate i figured that would be perfect and it's also pretty long wearing so this was perfect for the trip i really like it something that i've tried recently that i think is so comparable I don't want to say it's better, but very comparable is this new Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. I did a review on this new foundation. I compared it with the original Double Wear, and then I also tried the Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. All three of these products blew my mind. It has been years since I have worn an Estee Lauder foundation. I've used some of their skincare. I really like their skincare. Um, and I know their products are great. They have an amazing shade range. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but they're less expensive than Chanel. I mean, it it's not going to break the bank. I don't know why I stepped away. I guess there are just so many brands now. It's hard to keep track, but I could not believe how beautiful the original double wear looked. This is immediately going to the top drawer along with the double wear sheer, although I'll probably keep this in the bottom just because they say you have to keep it standing straight. It's so thin. I guess if you accidentally lay it down, it could potentially leak. I don't know. I'm going to avoid that if possible, but I really like this. This and this are similar. I think you get more coverage with the Chanel. So if you do like coverage, at least a little bit, I would go with this one. But if you're looking for something that's kind of light. This has a natural matte finish and it's very thin. These are two great options and I do have a coupon code right now. Look fantastic. 20% off Estee Lauder. I will make sure I link it down below in case you're interested. They did sponsor my review. They have no idea I'm talking about the products today, but 20% off is a good deal. So I just wanted to make sure I threw it out there for you guys. Um, and then this Futurist Hydra Rescue where have I been? <laughs> Where was I? I remember when this came out because there were a lot of comparisons between this and the Tom Ford Foundation. Estee Lauder does own Tom Ford, so makes you wonder, makes you question things, um, but I didn't try it. I skipped it and I shouldn't have because it's beautiful. I was blown away by this. I think if you have dry skin, this is going to be really nice. Medium to full coverage, just like Double Wear, except instead of a matte finish, it's more radiant. But even on my skin, I'm pretty combination. I thought it looked really nice. So I haven't played around with it enough to really say it's a true favorite, but just throwing it out there. I'm looking forward to testing this out over a couple days and hopefully this will work for me because I thought it looked incredible. Next, I have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I am so happy I picked this up. Immediately became one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Between this and Glam, that's basically it. Those are the two palettes that I've used the most from Natasha Denona. I don't have them all, but 
I also have the Zendo palette, I have the Love palette, and the Bronze palette. The Bronze is also incredibly wearable and beautiful, but I feel like I have all of those colors in other palettes, so it's just not one that I really grab. But the Glam and this are amazing, and it's a little bit cooler toned. Something just stood out to me about this palette. And you look at it, and the color story is very pretty, but it's not really original, so I'm not sure what it was, but I'm very glad that it did stand out because I've, I'm actually getting a lot of use out of this palette. That, for me, is the number one thing. I hate feeling like I've wasted money when I purchase a large palette and then I don't really grab for it or I forget about it within a couple of weeks. That has not happened here. Highly recommend the looks you can create are beautiful and you can do some pops of color, you can do some neutral looks, it's just a lot of fun. And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette. This will probably be the last large eyeshadow palette that I purchased for the year. This was on my radar from the moment we saw the sneak peeks. I love the black packaging. I think it looks very sleek. But the inside, the shades are just perfection. It's perfect. And I love my Instant Eye Palette, the Pillow Talk, the original. I use it all the time. It's very warm. It's got that warm brownie pink color story. All of the shadows lean warm. And as much as I've loved using it, I am starting to feel like I need a change and this is kind of the perfect change because it does have some browns but they're more neutral cool toned so I find that the looks this gives me are very different from the pillow talk palette I don't feel like I've duplicated anything in my collection and the shape it fits so perfectly in the drawer I wonder if they had a makeup drawer in mind when they created the layout of this palette because this is so much more convenient than this. It's slim, it's thin, it really doesn't take up much space, so I grab it and I use it all the time. I have loved using this. You know, it's only been, I think, a couple weeks since it arrived, but I love it. Hands down, one of my favorite purchases of the year. I love the Charlotte Tilbury formula, and these palettes are $75 versus her quads for $54. I know she recently came out with her pearl quads, I'll probably skip them. The packaging looks beautiful. I'm sure they are beautiful, but there's a lot of beautiful makeup out there, ladies and gentlemen. You can't buy it all, or at least I can't buy it all. So, you know, sometimes you have to turn down pretty things. I would much rather get more bang for my buck and it's something that I'm gonna use. September was the month of Charlotte Tilbury, the grand return, because it had been a while since I had purchased anything from Charlotte. The Super Nudes collection was sent to me, um, but this is the Nudegasm Face Palette. I really like this palette. In my initial review of the collection, I really liked it, um, but I don't know if I was overly blown away by it. I wasn't sure how to feel about this as a bronzer. I thought this was kind of too dark, maybe a little bit too cool toned, but it has completely grown on me. My mind is completely changed and I love it. Because you can use it on eyes and face, it's so versatile. It was so perfect for travel, but I don't think I'm gonna use this just for travel. I think I could easily use this on a daily basis. So I really like this palette, highly recommend it. And then my favorite nude lipstick from the Super Nudes collection has been Runway Royalty. This is what I'm wearing today. It's just the perfect nude. It is so pretty. So this is my number one favorite. They're all really pretty. But the combination I have on, the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat, which I am, almost down to the nub on this little guy. I already have a backup, so not a problem. But I love the Pillow Talk lip liner. I basically use that every day. And then the Opal Lip Gloss from Laura Mercier. This is one of my all-time favorite nude lip glosses. It's so perfect over anything. I keep this in my purse and I'm just about done with it. I have so many nude glosses. I don't know if I'll replace it right away, but this is one that I would absolutely replace because it's just ideal. And then this is the Sol de Janeiro and Anita Passion Fruit Nectar and Pink Patchouli Body Mist. It's a collaboration they did and it smells so nice. It's very sweet, but it's just tropical and yummy. And once it dries down on the skin, it's very light, of course, because it's a body mist. It's not very fall forward, so if you are already in full-blown fall mode, this might not be right, but if you're looking for something light, tropical, 
something to remind you of summer. It's beautiful. And you could even just spritz it on your pajamas or spritz it on your pillow before you go to bed. Spritz it once you get out of the shower when you put on your body lotion. Just do a couple sprays. That way you have a little something and it instantly kind of relaxes you. It smells really delicious, like a delicious tropical fruity drink. I love it. It's only $20. I want to try the entire line of body mists now. I haven't smelled all of them, but it's such a great price. I love their body care products. Sol de Janeiro has become my favorite body care brand. We've reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. I will continue to link my favorites or recommendations from the Saks Friends and Family Sale as well. So everything you need will be down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.